Right, this is a quick tutorial, hopefully like two or three minutes, explaining how to draw lines on maps. Um, I've got a map on the screen here. I'm going to drop this map onto the timeline. Drop it onto the timeline. What am I doing wrong? Right, there's a map on the timeline. Uh, I'm going to make a fusion comp out of this. So we'll click, click it on the timeline, right click it, go to new fusion clip. Click on the new fusion clip, then go to fusion. And slide this out the way if it comes on, it probably won't come on yours. Right, now we've got, there's our clip that we're going to modify, there's the output. So we're going to use a thing called um, a paint node. So shift pressed in, then spacebar, write paint. And you can see there's two paints came up. There's a mask paint. That's not the one we want. We want the ordinary paint. Click that, add. There you go. Get short of these lines and join Join the output and the clip to the paint node. There you go. Now click the paint node, click, and you get a whole load of more icons and stuff like that. But there's a very little, let's move these out of the way so we've got some room so you can see what's happening. Right, we're going to draw a line on how Arthur gets from Sunderland to the club every Tuesday evening. And we're going to use a thing here called polystroke. We're using poly, polystroke because it's, we can amend it if we, if, we, uh, if we spoil any of it. So we click polystroke, choose a colour because at the moment it's just white. I'm going to choose a purple colour. There's my purple. So we're going to start from Sunderland. And you can see what's happening here. Down here, onto the A1, coming down here. Then Arthur remembered, oh, I've got a pick smickle from John's, John Webb's house. So go along to John Webb's house. Oh, but he's not in. That's a shame. So the road's shut there, so we'll go back up here, onto the A1, and back down the A1, all the way down here. Then up to the club. So there we are. That's where route. And it looks pretty hideous so we're going to go to modifiers because we're going to modify this line so we'll click on modifier which is on the top here modifier brush controls and you can adjust how fat and how thin this is and i think that looks about right to me there but that's up to you now go back to tools because we're going to start doing stuff for this line and we're going to use this thing called brush controls. And the clever control on this brush controls is a thing here called right on. If you get a hold of it, you pull it, and you see what's happening? And what we're going to do is we're going to start from here, and we're going to like wind this out like this. So, um, and you do that by using keyframes so, so at the start of your, this is yet this is your timeline here so at the start of your clip here keyframe keyframe and I want it to end about here somewhere and I sort of messed that up somewhat Oops, try this again. So keyframe here. Go to the end. Keyframe.
And that's about all there is to it. There's no mystery, no special anything. That's how you do it. So to recap, to recap, all you've got to do, uh, make a fusion comp, click on that fusion comp, go to fusion, add a paint node, then use the polyline in the paint node for to draw your line. Then after you've drawn your line on using the using the polyline, like go to modifiers, go to brush controls, adjust how you want your how your line to look. Then go to tools, go to right on, and use the keyframe mechanism here, and that's all there is to it. It really is a quite simple. And fusion doesn't have to be as complicated as anything. I know there's tons and tons of controls in there, but you've used two. Out of all them buttons and all them controls, you've used two, and two's all you need to do. Right? Just, just don't complicate things. Hope this helps. If it hasn't helped, watch it again.